deal with airplane peanuts. I like TV on at night. Do you guys like TV on at night? No. 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 <laughs> oh, this is going to be a long can, time. Can I, can I ask you a question? Yeah, please. You know, before I go to bed, I masturbate. <laughs> yeah, there's a rule we didn't talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, before I go to bed every night, I masturbate. Are we sleeping on the bus, right? We are. So what does one do? You have you, to go outside. <laughs> you have to go outside if you want to jerk off. In the woods? Yeah. Well, it doesn't have to be the woods. It can be the fields, but you have to jerk off. The Bad Friends Theater Tour has officially been underway for a few weeks now, with Bobby Lee, Andrew Santino, and the rest of the crew hitting the road together for the first time ever. With just 25 stops remaining, it's time for all of us to take a deeper look at what attending a Bad Friends live show is really like. Is it a podcast? Is it stand-up? Does Bobby Lee keep his clothes on? All of that and more is coming up next in episode 49 of the Joke World Comedy News Update. Starting off with the set design, each show has taken place in a theater style venue with a recreation of the Bad Friends podcast studio on stage behind them, which looks dope. The night starts off with 25 minutes of stand up from Juicy Jet Ski Johnson, Bobby Lee, and Andrew Santino, with the occasional appearances from other members of the Bad Friends universe like Carlos and Fancy B. From there, both the Titos sit down for about an hour of live podcasting full of fan interaction, questions, and plenty of callbacks to classic Bad Friends moments and songs like Daddy Why You Die to close out the show. We gotta go to LA. And they're awesome, man. I wish we could have went to their live show. They're, they're touring around doing their podcast live show. Santino does 20. Oh, you went? But they did about an hour of stand up between three of them, and then they did one hour of the full live show. And man, they are dialed in. They, they did a really good job of just segments and always like never leaving dead space. Hats off to them and like the whole production team. And they were super nice to us. They had us back after the show, and we were hanging with them uh, all around. 4.5 on the show. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a good that's rating. A good rating. Do you have any, uh, how, was, how did their live show compare to our live show? Look, you know. Oh, that's all I need to hear. One of the darker things that's been on every comedy fan's mind in regards to this tour is how Bobby's been handling being on the road while simultaneously dealing with the trolls on TikTok who've been trying to cancel him. Although the criticism has been slowly dying off as of late, it still sucks that Bobby has to handle this during what should just be a really fun tour. Unless this is the perfect distraction. We had a really nice moment, Bobby and I. Yeah, really nice. Because, you know, I mean, I've had a really bad couple weeks and like, you know, that, that show happened at the right time. It was awesome. It was awesome. That's and what Andrew's been saying. I knew. I said it. I said, this is exactly what we need to start the tour in Vancouver with a big, huge audience of people in Canada that were like so excited so to come excited. out. It was so and awesome. And we were leaving. I go, let's go. We got to get the cars here or whatever. And she goes, um, no, I want to go back on the stage again. So I went with her. I made him come with me. Oh. And she goes, look. <laughs> and it, you know, this beautiful theater. It's such a pretty theater. Beautiful like theater. Like stained the glass ceiling. on the oh ceiling. Oh my God. I could see her tear up, right? And I went, you know what? You just taught me a lesson. This is it. This is it. This is it. There's nothing else. Living it right now. Right now. You really taught me a lesson. I was so glad because I didn't tell you at the time, but I think it was because I was pretty drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't a real emotion. No, it was real, but it was fueled. Oh, but, fueled you, but you were like, are you getting emotional? And then I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then you started. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. <laughs> You weren't emotional then? You were faking it? Well, I didn't want to tell you. I think a lot of it was because of the alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> but it was still <laughs> real. <a> spiritual, <laughs> but then... I had a spiritual profound moment. You were fucking drunk? Now, whenever a podcast announces a big tour like this, I feel like it's always a little bit unclear to the fans exactly what's going to happen on stage. Most of the time, live podcasts in front of an audience in a theater are cool to witness, but rarely turn out to be funnier than the normal studio recorded episodes. This Bad Friends tour seems to have the perfect mix of stand-up comedy and podcast comedy to give fans the ultimate live experience. And then now look, now we're on a tour where we're, we're doing... 33 cities, we do. We both do stand-up, so you get both of us doing 25, 30 minutes of stand-up. Then we do another hour and a half, if not more, of bits from the podcast that we've done over the years. We interact with fans. We have So it's like we grew this new audience. We already had stand-up audiences, yeah. but we grew like another chunk. So it was, it's, it's changed our lives in a way that well, I'm I, so happy about. Man. Yeah, go ahead. Bad Friends has not uploaded any official long form footage from any of these shows yet, but if you want to check it out for yourself, tickets are still on sale right now at badfriendspod.com. There's still a little less than two months left on this tour. I'm going to go to the show in St. Pete. Let me know if you're going to be there as well. Some more podcasting history for you this week. The first ever Taste Buds live streaming event is set to take place Wednesday, May 10th at 9 p.m. Eastern. Joe DeRosa and Sal Volcano have both really been hyping this event up, and it seems like it's going to be a big hit. They've promised plenty of special guests, big surprises, and a Taste Buds first. Live voting so you can 
can weigh in during the battle. Which when it comes to the live podcasting thing, I think in studio is definitely the way to go. This is a one-time event, not a whole tour like Bad Friends. So the majority of viewers are gonna be watching online and filming in studio helps the content translate a lot better to the internet. Taste Buds Live is only 10 bucks if you buy tickets ahead of time on moment.com and gets you access to the stream for a full week. Let me know in this video's comments if you plan on checking this thing out. And if you are, I'll see you in the live chat on May 10th. Guest spots from last week, your mom's house did not have a guest. Two Bears, One Cave was Tom and Giannis Papas. Kill Tony this week was with Sam Talent. Whiskey Ginger had on Sammy Zane. We Might Be Drunk had on Nemish Patel. Casey Neistat was on Flagrant. Ryan Sickler was a guest on the Giannis Papas Hour. And Andrew Schultz was a guest on the Boys Cast. I don't think, <laughs> I honestly think they're having like a bit of an identity crisis. They really don't know like what they are. Because yeah. there's all these like even hard, more hardcore racist groups, you know, I feel like that are. <laughs> that look down on the KKK. Kind, I think they're kind of guys are like, soft. Yeah, they're <laughs> yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. guys are like the old yeah. hat. Take like, off the hoods, you pussy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Show your face. Hide in your identity. This guy's like, yeah, but I work at Whataburger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a police officer. I can't. Dude, yeah, it just feels like so embarrassing. <laughs> Outside of it being racist, like even amongst racists. It feels embarrassing. But that's what I mean. If, if you were like thinking of, you know, getting into that game, yeah. I think that watching them get clowned on makes it less appealing than people calling it <laughs> also, bad. Also, what if you were racist and you just, you couldn't make the cut? Like, what you if are, they vetted you and they're like, yeah, not yeah, enough? Not they're not like, no, trust me. <laughs> I fucking hate them, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're <laughs> destroying the neighborhoods. You do not want to see me when an Asian cuts me off. I promise <laughs> you that. <laughs> you do no, not. How do you prove it? If there was a GoPro <laughs> in my car, I swear to God. This past weekend with Theo Vaughn talked with Glenny Balls. Jim Norton was on Chrissy Chaos, the Joe Rogan Experience had on Miss Pat, Jolling Summers was on Tiger Belly, Josh Blue was on The Honeydew, Keenan Thompson was on The Blocks Podcast, Take Your Shoes Off talked with Lauren Ash, and Tim Dillon was a guest on You Know What Dude. Joe Rogan would think, thinks I should move to LA, you go, if Joe Rogan told me to move to LA, I would leave my wife and my kid. <laughs> 100%. Now. If he told me to move to LA now, not even Austin. Yeah, I want you, you go. to go to LA and you go, if Joe Rogan told me to move, he goes, I would kiss Dawn goodbye. And I say, I love you, Max. I'll see you next month. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> see you later with a big fat paycheck. Here's the deal, because we've been talking. You went yeah. to L.A. because of Rogan? Oh, yeah. Well, because like the scene was there, and Rogan said to me, he's like, you would do well here. Sometimes you just need somebody to go, you would do well here. Because I didn't know if I would or not. I, I, it's weird. It's a different place. And I tried it out, and it was good. And... um you know, it, it, he was like, the, he helped out a lot. But I helped him more than he helped me, probably. 100%. No, uh, can I give it's you my joke. advice? I don't know who I, can get jokes it. anymore. <laughs> I have no idea. As far as brand new stand-up specials go, they're either coming out soon or out right now. Nimish Patel, Lucky Lefty, came out on YouTube yesterday. That's a brand new 40 minutes of stand-up from one of the best comedians working today that you can watch for free right after this video. Other specials out right now, Jay Larson, Sounds Like Bruce, is up on YouTube, as well as Ashley Gavin, Live in Chicago, and Luke Cajel, Cheers to That. And for those of you who recently checked out John Mulaney's new special Baby J on Netflix, feel free to join the Joke World Discord server and let me know your thoughts on the new special. Make sure to keep an eye out for the Best of April compilation coming out on this channel very soon. Last month featured some of the funniest podcast moments in a while, so you're definitely not going to want to miss it. In fact, you might as well just subscribe and turn on the post notifications just to be safe. Thanks for watching. 